Hello and welcome. I'm Wolfgang Rieber and these are my video quick tips. This week it's all about change in the world today. Now for many people this is a difficult topic to accept and even more difficult to implement in their own life. As a mind shift master I know this and I always wanted to make sure that my children, my daughters, understood and accepted this concept right from the start. In fact, my wife and I always made a point of asking our daughters to write down their thoughts as interesting insights come to light on what is going on in their minds when you ask them to do this. Now, five years ago, my oldest daughter, Sabrina, asked me what it meant that I build myself back at that time as a change management expert. So we chatted about it and I asked her to write down her thoughts on change. She wrote it in her own time and we put it away as a keepsake. Now the other day I found it again and read it again to see if and how her outlook has changed. Wow! the insight my daughter had back then and to see what went on in her mind at age 13 was really interesting. Today she's 17 and already first year in university. All I can say is that maybe as parents we did something right when she was younger and of course with her permission I'd like to share this letter with you My Story by Sabrina Reber once upon a time was me. I was born as a perfect child. I rely on my mom and dad for everything and am completely hopeless without them. Then I got a sister, Alexis. She also relied on my parents for everything. She too was helpless without them. Life was perfect. Our family was perfect, but still it had changed. Change? It is the most scariest thing for me. It is scary how life isn't the same as it was even 50, 40, 20, even 10 or even 5 years ago. Everything has changed. 50 years ago, people didn't even dream of owning a big screen TV, the latest Mercedes Benz or computers, or even cell phones. Scary, isn't it? People have become so materialistic. They must have everything, do everything that other people do or have. They do not appreciate life anymore, especially not the small things like just opening your eyes in the morning, being able to speak to your family, having a family, waking up in a warm bed and many more things. Even for me, just as young as I am, 13 years old, I can even see how everything has changed, how technology is taking over. I can still remember the first day Alexis and I had our first real fight. What causes you to fight with your brother or sister for the first time? When you are born, you don't know anything about fighting or swearing or anything worldly. So what causes you to have that first fight with your brother or sister? Change. That's what causes it. You become older, you change. You grow up. Even Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy. People, children, just don't believe at a certain age anymore because they have changed. Yes, life does change us and it makes us wiser, but inside ourselves we must always keep that special magic alive. Then it makes understanding life much easier. Isn't that just amazing how she saw life? Do you realize the impact that you have on your child's life? Does your child feel secure in your family? Often I pondered how we need a license to buy a television and drive a car. Today, I feel adults should have a license before they can have children. Often we don't realize the huge impact we play in a child's life. There's silly things we say which can leave a negative impact forever. We need to be so aware of how we treat and speak to our children today. You know, our aim should be that they are totally secure in the family and completely comfortable with who they are. Make that one of your goals for the future. Are you scared of the future? 
it is the most natural feeling to be scared. I sat with Sabrina and I explained to her that fear should be seen as a challenge. You see, challenges are exciting and lead to the possibility of growth. Those challenges that are ahead of us should be turned into realistic goals which are divided up into weekly and monthly smaller goals and eventually culminate into achieving that one massive dream and goal that we have. Often people forget that achieving your dreams is only 5% of the challenge. The other 95% is the trip you make towards achieving it. Hence the importance of breaking it down into manageable goals, which are fun, because then the whole trip to the final goal becomes pleasurable. Isn't that what it's all about? Having fun along the way? I always catch up with many friends on Facebook and have numerous comments about how exciting my life is with all my traveling, the pics on Facebook and everything that I do. In fact, at many conferences, many delegates make those same comments. And I'm kind of a bit stunned by the fact that the people see what I do and me as being lucky for having these opportunities. Listen, it has nothing nothing, nothing to do with luck. It has to do with thankfulness, humility, and honesty. And guess what? We all have tough times, we all have problems, we all have setbacks in life. You aren't the only one. But when you live your life being honest, humble, and grateful, it makes those hurdles easier to jump over. You see, I firmly believe that life gives back to you what you throw at it. Sabrina, realized at her young age how few people are thankful for the simple things in life. The fact that you are healthy, that you have a family and people that love you. Around the same time that Sabrina wrote this letter, we as a family spent all day at the beach. And on the way home, my youngest, Alexis, seemed to be a little bit down. And I asked her what was wrong. And she said, she was sad that the day had come to an end. It was the best day of her life. That was many years ago at the age of 11. Even then, she realized that the latest computer games are not what brings happiness, but time you spend with your family enjoying the simple pleasures, such as a walk on the beach and playing in rock puddles. You know, we even bumped into friends at a caravan park. The kind of holiday, I must be very honest, I would never have thought about. Did I learn a thing or two? Sometimes life throws you some awesome lessons. Everyone's children were playing with each other. Families ate meals together around fires. And the whole vibe was actually quite fantastic. Do you really need the five-star hotel? I don't think so. By being thankful for the small things around you, they suddenly become big things. I was speaking to a very wealthy lady the other day. She owns her own private jet. Her daughter had terminal cancer and she flies around the world looking for a cure. Guess what she said to me? She would give up all her wealth if only her daughter could be healthy. Mm. So what are you thankful for? Think about that. Humility is a big issue for me in my life. Why do you want to keep up with the Joneses? To be like them or better than them? Why? It's not going to change who you are. And when you have everything and more, will you really be better? Nothing saddens me more than self-centered people, celebrities, senior corporates, politicians, etc., who think they are better than everyone else. How many real friends do they have? See, everyone just hangs around them for their status. If they lose everything, will all these leeches still be around them? You see, if you treat everyone around you equally and have an attitude of servitude rather than one of taking, guess what? Life gives back to you so many ways. Make this your new goal to give more and take less. When you're younger, you're a go-getter. When you're older, you become a go-giver. 
Expect less and save for the moment more. Get over all your political, racial, religious and cultural issues. Respect everyone equally. It's really not that hard to do. Remember that with humility comes contentment and acceptance. Surely our world can do with a lot more of that. And guess what? It all starts with you. And that brings me to the core of Sabrina's story of change. Yes, the world is changing and it isn't the same world as it was even five years ago. People are worried what the future holds for us. For all of us, however, understand that change is what drives progress and builds you as an individual. Fear for change comes with insecurity in the self. It all starts with your children. Give them a secure childhood and make them understand that it is all part of growing up. Then they will only see challenges rather than fear. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? And if you find life difficult today, remember, it's all about attitude. To wake up negative involves exactly the same amount of effort as waking up positive. So why not try and choosing the latter? It takes three weeks to get into a new habit. Make an effort to wake up positive. Spend time with the family and friends. Smile more. Look for opportunities in even the bad things around you. Guess what? By the end of the next three weeks, even by the end of this month, you could be in a habit of seeing life in a more positive light. And the future can only be great. My daughter Sabrina started university at the age of 16. My wife and I are incredibly proud of her and of this achievement. And again, people say we are lucky to have such an intelligent daughter. Once again, luck has nothing to do with it. We embrace our children. We are there for them. And we make them feel secure. And above all, we let them understand the true meaning of change. That is what makes them succeed. I'm Wolfgang Rieber. This was my quick tip on change. See you around next time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.